Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to this uh, very awesome user-submitted Company Pierce commentary at Rails and Metal. Uh, this is a 2v2 match uh, with two British players going up against two uh, Wehrmachts. Now the sides we have, we have, I'm just going to call him Mond, who submitted this excellent uh, video to me. As player one and player two, we have Rabbit, who's also playing as the British. And up here, we have Newport Reborn, but I'm going to call him Newport. And over here, we have Marines Reborn. And they're both playing as the Bearmock. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this started. And as with uh, most tactics, they both immediately start building a Bearmock quarters, and the British players immediately start running out to capture any of the strategic points on the map and they are both producing uh, lieutenants naturally alright now the Wehrmacht players have a really nice engineer spam going on right now so they're gonna rush out really quick and try to take uh, as many points as possible it's pretty good it works quite well uh, due to the low cost of the pioneer squads and it would seem Mond here is moving out his uh, headquarters command truck And they have just a little bit of the territories kind of cut off there. It's like we might see our uh, our first fight here between a British rifleman and a car. Wow. Uh, yeah, I guess it would be a motorcycle. Oh. I have to say, I like how nice the uh, the British riflemen are behind cover. They're uh, quite tough. And Rabbit here is starting to get himself a mortar. And it looks like that uh, that quick engineer spam is starting to pay off for him. They have enough engineers to kind of last and they're just running around capping everything. And Rabbit's coming up to help. Let's see, they both don't have any new buildings. So they both do have quite an impressive little army going on there. Hmm. It's nice he finally got that mortar pit up. And a direct hit on the car too. And he knocked out the motorcycle. All right, finally starting to push them back a little bit. And they're getting themselves yet another mortar pit. Well, that's a shame. It kind of just gave away his uh, lieutenant over there. Well, got it out of there just in time. Let's get himself a Brent carrier. Thought at first he was going to give it the uh, Vickers, but no, he decided against it. All right, and he got his uh, Mond here, got his first field support truck. 
And Rabbit's still kind of bunkering down a little bit. Excellent. He has rifle grenades for one of his rifle squads. Ah, uh, the MG squads, the bane of the, well, any allied army, really. The MG42 squads, absolutely terrible to deal with. Unless, of course, you have mortars. Alright, it seems Marines Reborn here is starting to uh, roll out some snipers. And uh, poor Rabbit and Mon, they're having to deal with a uh, flame squad that's kind of going around torching their uh, mortar pits. Alright, and Rabbit's building more Bren carriers and outfitting them. A oh, nice job by uh, Newport, getting himself a nice medic station. That's got to prove to be quite annoying, continuously spinning out grenadiers of all things. Alright, and Mon's, uh... New army is mostly uh, re outfitted fully. Seems that both sides are just kind of locking down. Ooh, Marines Reborn has two snipers right there. It's going to prove to be quite annoying. Or not. Not if you have a steward. <laughs> I'm not sure why he just backed up that army. Or that steward, rather. Oh, and he revealed one of his snipers, but uh, it seems he's chasing the engineer straight into the base. Alright, and he got one of the uh, snipers. And we'll go up and see what they're doing. Uh, both of them have rolled straight into the base with uh, sappers. I'm not really sure. I guess he's building. Ah, demolition charge. And Mon's up here just kind of terrorizing the poor dude with a Stuart killing his engineers. That was an excellent play by Rabbit getting rid of the Creek Barracks. That ought to buy them a lot more time to not have to deal with any uh, heavy German tanks. Wow. Or the feared Pack 38, rather, considering the Creek Barracks doesn't really give you any tanks. 
But the half track and the pack 38 are quite annoying to deal with. So. Uh, I'm still unsure which tech tree uh, either one of them have gone. Going after one of our uh, I don't think uh, Mon's picked yet, but I will say this. Um, it would appear that both uh, German players went uh, Blitzkrieg, naturally. As you can tell, they have stormtroopers, so... I'm, uh, I'm hoping, when I has an armor truck, I'm hoping now he'll maybe start spitting out some uh, light armor, or medium armor rather, I'm kind of roll in the base and just kind of start taking stuff out. Mon's got himself some, uh, some sappers that'll be good to be, uh, healing up his Stuart, maybe. I feel kind of sorry for, uh, the bunker. I don't think it's produced one Grenadier squad yet. It's close, though. Very close. And yes, there are some, uh, some mines up here. Well, he was able to, uh, <laughs> Marines Reborn was able to get some Grenadiers, now he's going to start rolling out with some uh, Panzer Shreks. I'm not really sure why Mon's just keeping his, uh, his men in the fire of that thing. Here we go, Newport Reborn and Marines are starting to finally push out and finally able to reinforce. Ah, an armored car. Lovely. I think a Stuart's a little bit better than that armored car to be fair. Wow, that is such a shame that uh, that's right there just completely <laughs> allowed them to take that point. Or at least take it away from them, rather. Oh, it's still alive. Somehow. Just barely. Well, only its gun got destroyed through that whole ordeal with no HP left. Mon's building a 25 pounder, so I assume with the 25 pounder he's gonna go uh, Royal Artillery. And Rabbit went, um, Royal Armor. Hmm. Oh, oh, he's going to roll the Churchill directly. Well, that was kind of a fail tactic right there on Rabbit's part. I know he, he hit it, but still.
All right, it seems uh, Marines Reborn's rolling down to kind of assist his uh, buddy. Hmm. Though I have to say, Newport isn't doing so bad. He does have a uh, does have a Pack Thirty Eight there. Shame with all those pack 38s around, uh, it's not going to be so useful. Uh, by the way, in case anyone's wondering, this is a uh, rank 16 plus match, by the way. Uh, according to the person who submitted it, that is. You can look up their names if you like. And find out. Oh, That's really sad. Oh, that was excellent. Absolutely excellent by Mond. That was very awesome. They blew up into tiny little bits. Churchill gets a stuff 42. Not really the. I think the mortar might be almost a better match for it. Oh, and Rabbit lost the lieutenant. Ah, uh, my Marines reborn is getting yet another stuff 42. Not actually sure. Uh, Newport may have actually gone uh, defensive doctrine, which is also very nice with the uh, massively increased uh, sight range. And Marines Reborn is rolling. I guess he knows it's there. He's rolling straight down into uh Ah, he's rolling down to get that 25 pounder. But thankfully he's got some sappers and some Churchills on the way. Oh. Ah, but he managed to get the 25 pounder. Can you just get his stuzz out of there, I wonder? Oh, he got it out of there. Well, the Churchills are pretty monstrously slow. Ooh, Churchill Avery. I really can't believe that Grenadier just arrived. <laughs> Mon's got himself a nice little Cromwell. I have to say, I kind of like the Cromwell. I mean, as far as British tanks go, it's quite cheap. And the low profile, a lot of times some guns just miss it completely, which is kind of nice. Oh, 
a direct hit from the Churchill. That is excellent. Ah, but I think he's still gonna take it. Yeah, Newport's still gonna take it. Now that he's got Cromwell's, uh, as long as he doesn't run into any stormtroopers or grenadiers, uh, he'll be able to take down those stuff 42s relatively with these. They're not so great against tanks. They do get a, they do tend to sometimes get its nice top armor bonus hit, but for the most part, and with the five against tanks, they're pretty good. Wow, we better get out of there for that pack 38 turns around. Oh, oh, too late. No. Wow. Oh, yeah, we didn't. No, we lost this Cromwell. Oh, well, whatever. He has another one on the way, apparently. So, who cares, I guess. And Rabbit's got himself another Churchill Avery. And yeah, I was right. Mon did go, uh... Royal Artillery, and he has Priest now, so I assume he has <sighs> increased range on his howitzer. A howitzer shot right there would be really nice right now. Oh, and he did get himself a Priest. Excellent. We'll have to see what he does with it. Dropping it right on down here. Nice direct shot. Shame he's just backing it all the way now, but still. I'm not so sure the Churchill Aries are kind of worth uh, using in this kind of capacity. I mean, they're great against infantry and all, but I think in the base itself, just charging in and taking out, for example, his Krieg Barracks, which would really, really hurt uh, Newport's fighting ability, would be a much better tactic. Ow. <laughs> that Stuart just got absolutely destroyed. Of course, he could be sacrificing it, so he can get more, uh, more Cromwells. Two Churchill Ivories and an MK4, and a Cromwell. I'm not really sure why that Cromwell's backing off. Oh, they were a Churchill Ivory. control. That's a shame to lose a Churchill that way. Whew. That is a lot of pack 38s and a, <laughs> and a lot of grenadiers armed. They should really get these two munition points. Kind of choke their inability to get, uh, more Panzer Shrek's quicker. Ah, excellent. Rush the Cromwells right into his base. Well, that'll be good. Be forced him to kind of take his men back. That doesn't really matter, it's still 
outfire it. Oh, wow. Still got to back it up just a little bit more there. Or not back it up. I don't know. Anyways, we'll go over here where he's kind of starting to take this little uh, region down here. It's kind of a shame. You... Now you better run. <laughs> Newport's got his own. Ooh. And he lost to Cromwell. Alright, he's got two now. Uh, he's probably just gonna bomb his base. Maybe. I don't know, maybe this region up here will deserve a uh, howitzer. Oh, yeah. A Churchill crocodile. And, of course, another Churchill Avery. Ouch. Quite a loss uh, on this side of the map for uh, the two German players. Of course, they did get a Churchill Avery, but... With the Crom... Uh, sorry, with the Crocodile on the field, I don't really know if that was too bad of a loss. And they have a Tiger. All right, they can finally start pushing... Uh, Push him back at him, I suppose. But I suppose they shouldn't get too happy. They do have, uh, well, the lieutenant has a Panzer Shrek. <laughs> and the engineers, they do have some sapper squads, so. That's gonna really suck if he loses that, uh. If he completely and early loses that thing to a lieutenant. I suppose he deems that a little bit more threatening. Alright, they grab themselves a pack 38. Which they should really rotate in another direction. Is he gonna make it? Oh, he made it. Barely, but he did make it. Ouch. So now they have all three ticking down that ticker up there. I think he's actually going to try rolling that thing up. But I guess he does kind of call for desperate times. Plus, the frontal armor, even on a regular tiger, is pretty, uh, pretty nice. Even against the pack. Ouch. Oh, and he lost his tiger to a priest. Ouch. Well, that's kind of a shame. And he's got himself hit another Churchill Avery. I'm not really sure why he's building those. Uh, I don't really play... The the British too much, so maybe I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that thing costs munitions to fire. And it's not really, uh... Yeah, it's kind of hit or miss on any infantry. Though if it does land anywhere near the infantry, they will turn into a bunch of giblets, but I don't know. Alright, and they're getting these munition points up over here. That's really nice. Wow, 
Wow. Less than 100 left to go, and this clock's almost ticking, so... I don't know, I assume they drop or something. Wow, losing all of your packs. Literally, in some cases. And there it goes. And Marines newborn, reborn has dropped, and Newport reborn have dropped. Okay, so that was uh, that was that match. It was pretty good. Uh, it's one of the first uh, good British matches I've uh, uploaded. And uh, yeah, it was quite nice. Uh, if you have any of your own replays, uh, you know, just uh, check the description and yeah, you know, send me a. Uh, Send me the replay file and I'll take a look and I shall uh, commentate on it if it's uh, pretty good. And thanks to uh, Mond for sending me this. I'm really sorry. It took me a long time to get around to doing it. Just been really busy. But I did, uh, I did have it and I did like it. It's really nice to see, uh, you know, uh, two British players actually compete fairly good. Uh, against two Wehrmacht. It was very nice to see that. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one.